the best way for me as a tour guide to demonstrate Gothic architecture is to build a Gothic cathedral out of tourists. Now, it takes 13 tourists to make a Gothic cathedral. When you have your spire, four ribs coming together here and four ribs over here, when you have your spire hoisting himself up, the weight of that spire, if it's a round arch, is going to go straight down. And you're going to need stronger knees, fatter knees, no room for windows. If you point the arch up, you don't need a stronger wall anymore. The weight of the spire, when he hoists himself up, because it's pointed, pushes you out. So instead of stronger walls, you need buttresses to push the walls in. So you ask for six volunteers, and the buttresses come prancing up. They stand flush against the columns, and then you want to free up even more room on the wall, so you ask the buttress to, to take one step back and fly in with your support. Flying buttresses, okay? Now you've got that skeleton of support. You've got your flying buttresses, you've got your columns, you've got your ribs, you've got your pointed arches, and you've got a strong, wiry, lightweight person, I hope, that hoists themselves up to be the spire, and it's all solid as can be. And that's the essence of Gothic. And if you're ever having a party that's just not going over very well, you can say, hey, let's build a Gothic cathedral. It just takes 13 of us.